dreamt before and I'm just letting you know that this is my first dream. This is my first dream. So I wrote it down and, and I felt led to share. So I was walking down the street, regular, like in, in my town where I live and I'm just walking down the street and I go and I and, and I, there was people outside and I feel I, I feel I see like a chaos and I'm like what's going on so I go and I look I look to the left and I see something descending from the sky and like the first thing I thought I was like oh my god that's gotta be that's the deception that's gotta be this government like with the aliens and stuff doing a deception but as I go and I, and it comes closer I see I seen him, you guys. When I tell you that I seen Jesus, I seen him. But he's not like what we think he looks like. He didn't look like that. He doesn't have blonde hair and long hair and all that. That's not how he came. He came down. And he was descending, like it was like in a cloud, but he was on a horse. And he was with somebody else, and he was with something else. I don't know who he was with. I wasn't, I didn't see, I wasn't allowed to see that. But I know that he didn't come down by himself. And he had short hair, not like, not like a fade or anything, but it was like a short hair. And he was like my complexion. He was like, like dark skin, and he had a crown on his head. And he wasn't smiling, you guys. He was not smiling. And he he was just, he didn't look at me or anything but I saw him and he was coming down and as he was coming down landing on the ground I looked to the right hand side and I seen in the heavens I seen the kingdom of heaven I seen like a city in the clouds and it's like you know when you have like a mist in, in the clouds and it comes like clearer and clearer I saw like a city and I was like and I hear people saying the Messiah the Messiah and I'm like oh my god it's Jesus I'm like oh my god it's Jesus and he came down so I go and I start running. I start running because I'm looking for my husband. I'm looking for my husband. And as I keep running, I see on the, on the right side and the left side, it was these demons coming from the dirt. And they looked like gargoyles, but they were like made out of stone and they were just grabbing people and I just kept running. And I kept running looking for my husband. I remember in my head, I'm like, he has to know. He has to know that Jesus came. Like, he has to know. And I just kept running. I've never experienced anything like this, you guys. And Lord knows I'm humbling myself, Father. I humble myself, Lord. I don't know what it is that he's doing, but I just... I feel like I have to say it. I have to speak about it. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, I want to give a sincere shalom to the elect, peace to the elect, scattered abroad. I want to go in this video. This, I think, uh, maybe some brothers did a little while back. I've seen this video float around, but. I decided it came back up again. I decided I'll I'll do a video on it, and it's uh it's all spiritual. Now I will say, um, this woman that is a uh, have this terrifying dream. It also shows that uh, she did bring out the fact that uh, Jesus, the one you call Jesus, was not did not have long st uh, stringy blonde hair, which that's been old news to us. But now Christians are starting to see that that's not true as well, right? And once you start uh, tearing down those lies that's been put up by the Catholic Church, right? Then you can also bring it all back together. Uh, you have these uh, guys that hate Israelites that says, we're sub-Saharan Africans, right? No other African got the talent that, that Jake has, but... You know, where I want to go on that is uh, if Jesus is the one you call Jesus, we say Yahawasha, true name, Jesus, you know, that's that's a false name. If he was so-called black, then now you have to root out of his people looking like that blonde hair and blue eyes, okay? Because when it was set up in a dispensation act, when they put them people back in that land, when they tried to, when they took the land and got in that land, who don't even follow Jesus, 
but they put that image up so the masses of the people can believe uh, who uh, who the people of the Bible are. So now if Jesus is a so-called black man, right? Everyone knows it. The majority of Christians, we get white people come up to the camp and say, yeah, we know he was black. So that means his people were so-called black. So then we got to ask, well, who was his people? Then you got to ask, is it possible since we came, came on that transatlantic slave trade, not just from Africa, but various parts of the earth, you know, over the uh, eastern hemisphere to the west, could it be possible that we were the people of the Bible? You know, just a simple question, which we know we are. Now, anyway, um, I'm not going to go along in the video, uh, but I, I just wanted to say that she brought out a couple things that, you know, came to my attention when she said she couldn't, um, she didn't quite recognize him, but he had short hair and he was kind of like her complexion, but dark, dark skin, right? Now, that covers Revelation 1 and 14, I believe it's 1 and 14. His feet was like unto fine brass, as if it burned past tense in a furnace. A glowing, you know, a glowing so-called black color. We have so much hatred towards ourselves. Uh, even in my time of coming up, if you were light-skinned, you were better. If you were dark-skinned, you were worse. Anyway. Goes on and says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Isaiah 47 and 3. Talking about Babylon. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. This place. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. And I will not meet thee as a man. Right? No ordinary man. Right? And when you read Revelation, the first chapter as well. I'm just quoting some. I think 1 and 7. It says, uh, Every eye shall see him, including the ones that pierced him. And that's just um, going into reincarnation as well. Let's go to Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace but a sword. Right? So this lie that uh, uh, Catholic Roman Catholicism and the black Christian churches put on us was deceitful. And then they asking all these questions of why we hate Christianity. Well, we don't like Christianity. We don't believe in Christianity. I'm talking about false Christianity. Why are we such a so-called hate group? So now you've seen all the characteristics of the Most High and His Son. This woman just said that He came down with a look on His face of for destruction. So didn't the Scripture says, "Be ye followers of Me." The one you call Christ? Yahweh So if we're supposed to be followers of Yahweh the one you call Jesus, we're not supposed to have a pretty look on our face when it comes to the, the, uh, this place going down. Now Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, set a mark on them that sigh and cry. Sighing and crying uh, that's done in, the, in a, the abomination that's done in the midst thereof. The Most High is angry. With, this, with the wicked and a lot of you jakes you side with the wicked so you got to go too right but the most high bring you back right you Israelites right you Israelites Romans uh, 14 and 11 for it is written as I live saith the Lord every knee shall bow to me right and every tongue shall confess to Yahweh right through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right? Because when this thing goes down and this world this world gets go, uh, getting back on a good foot, so to speak, everybody will be in subjection. All the nations of the planet. Right? All the nations of the planet. And I'm gonna go through one more point real quick. The fact that the one you call Jesus, right? Who did he come for? And that's where y'all having a problem. See, you Christians are say that God is all loving. All you got to do is accept him as your, your personal savior. I remember when I was young, they said that. Accept Jesus as your personal savior. Lord Jesus Christ. And you say, yeah, I accept him as my personal savior. But you know you don't really feel that. Because if you accept him as your personal savior, so to speak, 
You wouldn't be in the condition you are. You wouldn't be doing what you're doing. And secondly, you can't accept him. I mean, you know, he, you can't choose him. Like he just, I choose Jesus. The scripture says you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you. Right? So there's no such thing. These Christians got it all backwards. But what they are doing, I was looking at a couple of these Christian sites. What they are doing is they're acknowledging a lot of the things that we're saying now. They're going to leave out the Gentile thing, though, that the Israelites were Gentiles. They're going to leave that part out. Right? Anyway, Matthew 19, 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Right? That's why the scriptures in Matthew, the fifth chapter, said to all things be fulfilled. Right? Or oh, I believe that's Luke 24. Uh, well, I, Lord, will, Lord, will I get there soon? Ye also shall sit upon the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Can you get plainer than that? I don't know. With the universalism and they put the, uh, the, they do the Vulgate, put that word Gentile in there, and everybody took the Gentile. Gentile, right? When it uh, scriptures clearly have different definitions on Gentiles. Could have been different words used, but they use Gentile, right? So, let's get the other scripture. Let's see if this sounds like the all-loving Jesus Christ come to save you for your from your personal, as your personal savior. And grace is done away with, so it doesn't matter. Be wicked, commit adultery, sin, do all the things you want to do. But as long as you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, does that make any sense? The scripture says, many say to me, Lord, Lord, right? But shall not enter into the kingdom. And many speak sweetly with their lips, but their heart is far from them. So you come on, man. You got to know the only ones that are standing strong to, uh, on, a, on a, a higher scale level to the most highest words is the Israelites. Right? They're the only ones. Your Christians ain't doing it. You ain't following the Sabbath. You ain't following the Day of Atonement. You ain't following the Passover. You're following Christmas. You're following Easter. What about you, vocab? What about those holidays? You celebrate Christmas. We saw that. That's not even scripture. I'd like to see a video on that. Proving, uh, putting up a Christmas tree, a pine tree, an evergreen tree, going back to uh, ancient Samaria, right? Babylonia, in a worship of, of, of Semiramis and Nimrod. I like to see that. Anyway, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, right? This is what this lady is seeing. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, right? And he shall separate them one for, from another as a shepherd. Divide the sheep from the goats. Right? And he shall set the sheep on the right hand. And the goats on the left hand. Right? And that's ultimately. Uh, those nations. You have Israelites. That. Um, are uh, not going to make it. Right? They're not going to make it. This whole Bible is really for the Israelites. But even those. Those, those heathen nations. That's why they that's why you see them worship the Baphomet, the goat. Right? So I thought it was uh, I thought it was just um you know interesting this dream she had and she got humbled real quick. So you can imagine and I'll I'll say maybe some brothers that may have trouble with wives and women or whatever the case is. This is what Paul was saying. Hey, when that time come if she's meant to be the elect, I mean, elected with you, guess what? It's going to take no time at all. It's going to take no time at all. You'll see the stronghold that he has over our women <clears throat> won't be for long. You wait till the Most High sends his son. You wait till even before he comes. You wait till that hell hits. But we got to get through that, that uh, prophecy is that chip. Will your woman push you to take that chip? Then that's total destruction for you. Anyway, I thought it was an interesting dream. 
the, the, and it, it's a lot of things to come. That's all I have on that. Shalom.